Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> so, if you've already read the title, some of you are probably going, oh crap, he's not going on about medical stuff again. Well, yep, I am. Make no apologies for it. It's been a week or five or something since we talked about anything medical related, so here we are. It's a big deal. There's a reason why I continually harp on it and try to spread it out for you guys. <clears throat> if you're just getting caught up, having a good, full-blown um, trauma kit for your gear is a good idea. Especially grid up times right now. Everything is normal. Take a bad wound injury. Patch yourself up or someone can patch you up till you can get to the hospital. But, something that I don't see enough people having, I have harped on this in other videos, <clears throat> I will continue to beat this horse, <clears throat> is having things other than full-blown trauma items. Everybody wants to stuff everything full of pressure bandages and chest seals and tourniquets, and that's great, but no one that I see likes to talk about making sure you've got simple things band-aids antibiotic ointment gauze pads simple stuff fact of the matter is be it a grid up grid down end of the world normal times whatever situation you're gonna be far more likely to need those band-aids and stuff then you are a trauma kit. Trauma kit, you're probably only going to need once. If you need a trauma kit more than once, you're doing something wrong. But the other stuff, you're probably going to need that repeatedly. Now, if you're like me, I tend to need that kind of stuff darn near every other week, it seems like. If you actually get out and do things, you're going to get cut, stuck, scraped, bit, whatever. Just fact of life. <clears throat> Things are going to happen. It would suck to be in a bad situation and not be able to physically or mentally function 100% to effectively carry out whatever task it is you're trying to carry out because of something that's relatively minor but is treatable or, God forbid, in a grid down situation, end of the world, zombie robots walking the streets die from something as simple as a little cut or scrape because you didn't have a dollar's worth of antibiotic ointment and band-aid to put on it. It's reality, all right? I showed you guys other similar things before. But today I'm going to show you something new I picked up and I'm going to have to put these on because age and you know all the things. But this is a mini first aid kit from Soul Attack. These are pretty cool. Um, again, I showed you similar stuff, but I really like this one. We're going to go over it real quick and why I like it. Contents of it, for those of you interested, it's got five three quarter inch by three inch bandages, two two inch by four and a half inch bandages, one roll of Curlix, two triple antibiotics, two iodines, two two inch by two inch gauze, and a pair of nitrile gloves. And it is in a nice package. It's sealed up. But I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys, which I uh, will keep it repackaged because fortunately enough, the packaging that they send you is resealable. It's like a Ziploc bag. Boy, they sealed this one right down next to the edge of the uh, seal on it. And I told you I was going to open it up, but I might have to get a tool here to uh, help me out. Let's see if we can use the old Mark 1 Mod 2 teeth. Don't tell my mother I tried that. She'll get mad. Hang on a second. Here. When in doubt, break out the tools. Another reason why you should open your stuff up before you actually need it. There we go. 
because it might be somewhat difficult to get into and that's not a bad feature all right so two inch what was that one I gotta put these back on again uh, two inch by four and a half inch bandage gloves Curlex. two inch gauze pads and both of those bandages are here by the way in case you didn't see there's two of them regular band-aids and then your antibiotic and iodine pads guys seriously you're gonna need I can promise you these right here more than you will just about anything else okay it's a thing you see how small this package is you can keep it in this package it's got it's like a ziploc feature you can reseal it you can put it in a ziploc baggie whatever floats your boat this is small enough and simple enough you, you there is a pocket somewhere or there should be a pocket somewhere on your body or your gear or whatever where you can stick one or five of these it's a thing you need to have them the only thing and this is just if I had to find something the only thing that I would like to see with this and it's something you can easily do yourself is get you some uh, regular surgical tape and make you a little flat roll of it or even just make you a little flat roll of uh, Curlex something like that to be able to secure the gauze pads or the regular gauze roll if you're wrapping it you want some way to try to try to secure that so it doesn't come undone in a pinch you can use a band-aid as tape to tape it down but why waste a perfectly good band-aid when you can make your own little roll of surgical surgical tape or coflex and voila bob's your uncle so guys seriously these are like ten dollars so ten dollars you should be able to have two or three of these stick them in your gear um, have them handy have them available and then get out and do things and then when you get out and actually do things you'll find out that you actually need them you'll find yourself breaking this out a lot more than you will your trauma kit again not saying that you don't need a full-blown trauma kit for all you people that are really low IQ would I'm saying you're probably gonna need this more often than a trauma kit and you should have more of these so not a whole lot else to say guys short and sweet these are great little packs to have easy just to pick up one every every now and whenever um, I'm planning on getting more um, they've actually got one other kit that I'm looking at picking up that's their backpacker kit um, think same concept just a lot more stuff to it um, that might actually even be a better route to go depending on your your storage space it might be easier for you to store two or three of these in and on around your gear or one of these other slightly larger packs the other one the backpacker kits like $33 um, but it's got more stuff in it so just depends on how you want to roll or eh, crazy idea here put one of these in a pocket or a GP pouch and put one of the others in your patrol pack ruck whatever backpack you got with you which you should always have with you and then you've got the best of both worlds we're not going to stop beating this horse I need to have this stuff it is very important though it may seem minor and minuscule but it's not take care guys stay safe get out there and practice and train I'll put a link to this in the description box if for some reason the uh, YouTube overlords don't like the link in the description box I'll put a link to the blog and the blog will have the link over there so just follow the follow the channel links and, and you'll get there take care stay safe I'll see y'all later